so if we want to put a condition inside an if statement also then we need an else if block so we have to write else if and then we can put a condition inside this if, if condition so here we can uh, any give any expression that evaluates to boolean so we can say maybe true or false okay then this condition will come into picture still this else if it doesn't exist because because it is not part of any if so only after if you can give an else if or else without an L, without an if block you cannot give an else block or else if block okay again let's try to execute this okay still it will not allow you to add this okay why it's not allowing you to add it because this else doesn't belong to any if so for that you need to write something like if so here we have to give one if condition okay so only after the if you can write an else condition and you can write an if else condition okay and you can also do an else if else if else if chaining also so if you can also write something like else if here okay and here you can give one condition let's say true or false something so we'll see how to add an expression and here you can say else if then here you can say else if let's say true then here also you can say else if and then in the end you have to write one else in the end you have to write one else like this okay so how many blocks will be executing if any so in, under any situation okay under any situation all uh, amongst all these boxes only one of them will be executing it doesn't matter if all of them are true even if all of them are true only one if else will execute or only one if condition will only one block will execute because they are part of the same else if else if else if chaining okay and it doesn't matter whether all of them are true also only one will execute okay why that is happening because if you if this condition is false only in that case it will come to the else part and if this condition is false only only in that case it will come to the third one and if this is false only in that condition it will come to this one so it all is like a chain so if this happens already if this becomes successful then none of the other will be executing okay let's try to check it out uh second or we can say first else if second else if we are under now third else if fourth else if and one more here inside final else block oops not save so now see now if, as this one is becoming true so all let's let's try to make all of them true okay and let's see what happens so i'll make this also true this is also true this is also true and this is also true okay so now there's nothing else uh, i'll execute this Okay, let's see how many statements will be generating so if i debug this see it is coming only inside the if block it is not going anywhere inside the else if else if or even in, in this if, else condition okay so it will only come inside the if block if it becomes true if in case if this becomes false if this results to false only in that case it will come to the this these blocks it will even try to execute these blocks if this becomes true it will not even touch them so if this becomes false okay and now if you execute this
so now if you see we are inside the first else if block so that message is coming from where it is coming from here so now if this is executing the other will not be executing okay even if they are all true so if this doesn't exe execute and this also doesn't execute only in these two cases if both of them are false then it will come to the third one okay this point is clear Okay. If you want all the conditions to be checked, okay, um, it, uh, despite of this being true or false, if you want this to be independent, then in that case you have to give an if statement instead of else if. If you give if statement, then all the statements will be executing. So even if you, uh, so, okay, if I don't remove this else part, so now this else if belongs to, it depends on primarily on this if, the second if. Okay, so now this else if will belong to the second if condition. So now this else if execution depends on this part, whether this is becoming true or false. Okay, now let's may try to make this as, so now this if this uh, condition evaluates to true this will execute fine now after that it will jump to the second if also because this if doesn't depend on this this is separate if this is separate if if it's if it was else if then it would have depended on this if the first if okay so now this else if is a part of the second if so now let's try to execute it again now we'll get two statements Okay, first, the first block it will go anyways. Let's try to see. Okay, so first, first block it will anyways enter because this is true. So this is becoming true, so it will enter inside. Now here again it will check the condition. It does, if it was else if, then it would have not even checked the condition. As it's not else if, it is just if, that means it's a separate entity. So now it will again check the condition. If this becomes true, then this will execute. Now the same pattern will follow. Okay, now if this becomes false, only in that case it will come inside. If this was not false, then it will not come in these of any of the statement. Okay, and if all of them are false, if all of them are false, this also if it's false, if this also is false, if this also is false only in that case it will come to the last if condition a last else here there is no condition but it depends on any of the upper if statements if all the if statement will be false only in that case it will come inside the else part okay now let us execute this Okay, so it is coming inside the final else block. If all of them are false, only in that case it will come inside the final else block. Okay. And if you want to all of the conditions to be checked, then in that case you have to remove all the else block. So you have to make all, all of them as if. To make all of them as if. Okay. Now this else belongs to which one? This else belongs to if. Then if this becomes false, then this will be executing. Okay, so it doesn't depend on the space or it depend, doesn't depend on where they are organized. It depends on what is the one which is following or what is the one which is the previous one. Okay, now in this case, all the if condition will be evaluated. So all of them, if they are true, Okay, and if we don't have an else block, so let me just comment this. Okay, so I've commented the last else. So now all the if conditions will be executing. Why? Because all of them are like separate. They don't depend on each other. Now if you execute, see all of the debug statements will come. 
and all the if blocks will be executing because all the condition is evaluating to be true. Okay, now if you see it is coming to all of them. Okay, why that is happening? Because all of them, all the conditions will be checked. It will check here, 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 every, every condition will be checked. But if you do a chaining, in that case, only one block will be executing anyways. The, it depends on the conditions of that parent. Okay. 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 Hope this is clear. Yes, sir. Okay. So why yesterday session did you uh, uh, no, I, I did not right? share. I did not upload in YouTube. I because there is a little disturbance there, so I did not uh, okay. upload. I will share with you guys. I'll have a folder created. Okay, shared folder, and in that I'll share you guys. Okay. Okay, like a Google Drive okay. or something. Hmm? Okay. Thanks, Shabha. Yeah. Okay. So let's check out an example for this if else. So let me go ahead and create a new class. So I'll create a new Apex class. So I'll say maybe conditional block. Okay. Okay. So now an Apex class is created here. So okay. Let me. Create an opportunity management system. Mm. Okay, so let's create a variable first. So I'll create a maybe non-static variable. So I'll create a private variable. Private. Uh, let's keep it as opportunity, and let's say my op. Okay, and I will create a constructor. Using that constructor, I will initialize my opportunity. So, private opportunity. Okay, so I'll create a constructor. As of, as of now, we have not seen any constructor. So, okay, fine. I'll not use a constructor. Then I will use a uh, static only. Okay, so I've created a static variable for opportunity. So, I want to initialize this opportunity with any of the records. Okay, so how do I initialize a static variable? I have to use a static initialization block. Okay, so I'll create something like my opp equals to, and then I'll do a query. I'll do let's say select uh, name, comma uh, stage name, comma um, description from opportunity. So limit one means that it will show me only one record. If I don't give any limit, it will fetch me the whole list of opportunities which is there in my org. I don't want to uh, get all of them. I want to get only one of the records. Okay, it will randomly pick just one record and it will give it to me. So as of now, you just have to understand that this opportunity will contain my op will contain one opportunity record. Okay, and this I have to put static here. Because I'm creating a static initialization block, so I have to put static. So as soon as the class will be loaded, my opportunity will be created. Okay, and if I put this, remove it from here, and if I put it here, now I will get a forward reference error. Because this static block will be executed, it will come line by line. This line, this line, this line, it will come here. So now it will give me a forward reference error because it doesn't know the uh, my op doesn't exist as of now. Okay. So that is why it has to be here. Okay. Okay. Now let us come to a method. Okay. So I'll create another public method, public static method, and I want to create a void method and uh, get stage. Get stage. Or okay fine i can say maybe display uh, stage or we can say display op stage okay and this will not take any parameter it will just display the stage of whatever uh, 
द स्टेज इज देयर इन माई अपॉर्चुनिटी ठीक है एंड विच अपॉर्चुनिटी वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट हेयर वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट दिस अपॉर्चुनिटी माई ऑप ठीक है सो इफ आई वॉन्ट टू गिव एनी कंडीशन इफ आई वॉन्ट टू डिस्प्ले समथिंग और इफ आई वॉन्ट टू डू एनी कैलकुलेशन डिपेंडिंग ऑन द स्टेज ठीक है लेट से इफ द स्टेज इज क्लोज वन If it's closed one, then I want to send a reminder email, or if I want to create a task uh, to any of the owners of that opportunity. If I want to do something like that, or if I have uh, something related to that particular opportunity, maybe some high-value deal is there related to that opportunity. I want to check any condition. So all that things we can do using an if condition. Okay. So what I can do is I'll create an if condition, and in this if, if I'll check if my opp dot stage name theek okay. hai if double equals to let's say closed one theek okay. hai then i want to display a message saying system dot debug congratulations on the new deal Okay. In business terms, we uh, actually denote an opportunity with a deal. We call it a deal only, and most of the companies have also renamed it uh, as deal. So we use it as deal. So if you don't want to call it as deal, that's fine. We can call it as opportunity only. Opportunity is nothing but a deal. Okay. Okay. So if if the stage is closed one, okay, then it will. show me this particular message now if in case uh, if i want to if the my op dot stage name uh, if it's double equals to let's say something else what other stages are available so one is uh, prospecting then i want to do something else i want to display this message Uh, i want to say something like uh, not congratulations deal still in prospecting work to increase probability okay i also want to display the probability probability of that particular uh, opportunity ठीक है सो व्हाट डू आई डू इट आई जस्ट ऐड प्लस एंड देन आई कैन से माय ओपीपी डॉट प्रोबेबिलिटी ठीक है इट्स अ परसेंटेज इट विल डिस्प्ले हियर प्रोबेबिलिटी एंड सो हियर आई आल्सो वांट टू ऐड दैट प्रोबेबिलिटी सो आई विल ऐड द माय ओपीपी डॉट प्रोबेबिलिटी ओके आई होप दिस थिंग इज क्लियर लाइक हाउ दिस प्रोबेबिलिटी इज कमिंग हियर probabilities uh, we are accessing using the my op my op my op contains what my op contains the record okay the record is coming from where it is coming from the database how it is coming it coming using the soql query and how the static block will be executed as soon as we uh, execute anything from the class the class will be loaded and the first thing which loads with the class is the static parts what are the static parts here we have three static parts one one is the variable one is a uh, initialization block and one is the method okay so line by line it will load in query need to add probability yes yes need to add probability also Okay. Okay. So this is one if condition. If condition. Let's try to connect more stages of the opportunity. Uh, prospecting. You guys know any other stage? Any other stage name? Prospecting. Uh, you also have something called qualification. I think. Qualification. Close lost is also there. Yes. Okay. Increase the probability. Increase the probability. Qualification. Uh, still in qualification. 
qualification in prospecting this is uh, you can be a little strict here uh, please answer why the deal was lost okay okay so we have created one static variable static method static initialization block okay so if i go to my anonymous window how do i execute this class i cannot execute a class directly so i have to access some members of the uh, class i can access the member variables i can access the member method so i can call this method okay so if i call this method it will randomly uh, just select any of the uh, whichever is the at the top it will select that opportunity and that opportunity will be assigned to this my op okay and then you can uh, it will check the condition of the stage so let us try to execute this okay so how do i execute this so to execute this i all i have to do is i have to call the method which will check the stage and it will give me the stage and it will give the relevant message and it will also give me the probability okay depending on the condition so i will just do a um, i will call my method how do i call my method anybody so if i say display uh, opp stage okay so i have written the name of the method it is going to work yes no maybe okay so you guys are listening okay so we have conditional block dot display op stage okay mm. okay so is this correct harsh so whatever we have written is this going to work or do i have to create an object Mustan says it's correct. Harsh, is it correct or we need to create an object and we have to call using object? Create object. Why do we create an object? See, we create an object to access the instance variables. Okay, which is the non-static part. No, to access, see, we need to, if it's, see, here it is static. This is also static. So we only have static members to access the static members. How do we access you access using the class name? You don't access using the object. Okay, so yesterday we have already covered yesterday. I think day before yesterday also we have covered so that the object is only created if we uh, need to access the non static parts. Yes, from class name. Correct. Okay, so this we will access using the class name because the static parts are accessed using the class name. Okay, so now if I execute only this line, so the first thing it will do is it will fetch a record of opportunity and it will assign to that my op variable and then the method will be called. Okay, so the deal is in prospecting stage. So which uh, record it got, we did not know. Na? Okay, so I'll put one ID also here. So to get which record we got uh, and I will display the ID also here or maybe name. It indicates that it's a literal. It's a literal. See if all the keywords, the keywords are always in this color, public, class, okay. private, static, all these are keywords. That means these are reserved words. Okay. okay okay so they are like reserved words so okay. these literals are coming here so probably they have denoted in the same color all the literals okay it doesn't mean that these things okay. are keywords but i think they are little bit of different color yes these are like different colors. yes okay Okay, okay, so I'll give an ID also or maybe name also. So probability, so congratulations on the new opportunity and I'll give the opportunity with name equals to, then I will give the name also. Um, OPP, sorry, my OPP dot name. Okay. And then plus I'll give some space here. 
uh, with probability ठीक है so same thing I will I forgot one plus here also plus my opportunity name with probability this yes so this should work fine uh, plus my op name with probability here we have two plus symbol Okay, with probability, my upward probability, yes, this looks right. <coughs> I did not get the question. Can you reframe the question? So, uh, as you said, if you want to give uh, one space in uh, single course after plus, we can give a uh, single course space, right? So if you want to give uh, like uh, 10 spaces or 5 spaces, something like that there. Then you have to give 5 spaces like this. If you give 5, 5 it will take, is it? Huh, it will take 5. I think it will take I think, right? What? Sorry? I, I think uh, even if you give uh, more than one space also here, Hmm. But it will be considered as only one space, I think, right? No, no, no. Here oh. it's a string. Here it's part of a string. Okay, so in the string itself, in the quote itself, you are including the spaces. Okay, if you give any space here, this doesn't matter. Yeah. It doesn't matter infinite number of spaces. If you give, it will not consider as at all. Uh, consider any spaces at all. Okay. Correct. I was I was asking for this this one only after plus here. Uh, after plus, it doesn't matter. If you give any number of space, it doesn't matter. If you even if you give an enter key, it doesn't matter. But uh, if I want to give uh, more than one space, is after plus here. Then I think you are inside uh, the string, no? Or if you want to give so some you spaces, are... you have some uh, some keys also slash n slash t like that. You have something. So that oh, you can correct, add. Correct. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, like that you can add. I don't remember exactly what it is, but it's I think slash slash, t is there. slash n is new there. line. Slash t is I think uh, um, space or something. Tab space. Mm. Yeah, tab space, correct. Like that. Okay, friends. Okay. Okay. Mm. Is the probability uh, okay? Fine, that's enough. Uh, enough of uh, creating messages. Let's try to execute this once again and let us see. Uh, I go to execute, so I'm displaying my opportunity stage. I execute this code, I execute the highlighted part, and now on debug log will generate it. Will give me the stage name along with that, it will give me probability also. It will give me the name of that particular opportunity also. Okay, so deal is still in process. Work to increase the probability trigger sequence. This is the name of the uh, record. So the probability is 10. As it's in probability, the stage is probability. So no, sorry, stage is prospecting. So the probability is only 10. So let us try to check out the trigger sequence here. So if I see what is trigger trigger sequence, which is the one trigger sequence hyphen. So this is the one. Okay, so this record is having a stage name of prospecting and the probability must be 10 with probability. So probability is 10. Okay, so randomly it picked up this particular record. Now if I want to hard code any of the record, if I want to uh, say that you check only this record. So that I can easily do it using I can say instead of querying, I can uh, say from opportunity, I can give something like where name equals to something. Uh, where, where name equals to, then I can pick up any of the opportunity records and I can give it. Okay, but is that, that is not the way. So every time you create a method, if it requires a parameter, you need to pass the parameter. Okay, so what I will do is instead of creating a non-parameterized method I will pass one parameter what is the parameter I'll give a string and OPP 
I'll call it maybe name. ठीक है I'll call it a name. This we cannot do using. Okay, fine. So I'll call it using the name, and then in the static block, I will not use anything. I will comment the static part here. The static block. ठीक है. But and when we are calling the method, sorry, type the name. When we are calling that method, uh -huh. class name dot method within bracket, can we can't we mention the name opportunity name there? Uh, we oh, okay. can. No, we cannot do that because here we have to create a local variable. Okay. Okay. So we cannot create something like uh, what was the name of that? I think trigger. Trigger sequence. Ah, it was trigger sequence hyphen. This was the name. Okay. But this will not work here. In the definition of the method, it's expecting you to create a parameter. Not like pass a parameter. This you can do when you are calling this method. Okay, let us try to okay. save this and let's see what happens. Okay, so it will not let you save it because the syntax itself is wrong. Okay. okay. So here you have to create a local variable that is supposed to grab hold of that particular data. So here you have to create a. You can just pass the string name. uh okay so now we have created a local variable this is a local variable so when creating this method when calling this method sorry when calling the method we have to pass a name to this particular variable and i am not initializing this opportunity here so if i use opp dot name then it might give me an error that we it's a null pointer exception or it might say uh, that trying to dereference null object or something it will give okay so let us just try to save it it will save there is no syntax error but the exception is always generated at the run time exception doesn't come into picture when you are uh, compiling the code so when you save it it just compiles it doesn't uh, run it so when you execute this that time it will so method does not exist okay so we have to change the calling also so here display op stage doesn't exist because this display op stage it is not taking any parameter but here it's taking one parameter so we have to provide a parameter so i want to give a name to that param, uh, parameter so i'll give here trigger sequence theek okay? hai that is the name of the uh, opportunity that we were trying to fetch or it it uh, did that for us randomly theek okay? hai so now let me try to execute this so null pointer exception attempt to dereference a null object why it is coming that it's it's coming in line number 36 so this is the line number i don't know how it got line number 36 column 1 line number 3 column that is fine i don't know how it's getting line number 36 but uh, the error is here this is our error theek okay, hai because opp is not initialized yet so here we are trying to use opp dot stage name so opp itself is blank so opp dot will always come as null and it's a null pointer exception we are pointing to a null object which doesn't exist theek okay, hai so what we have to do is we have to initialize the my opp first initially what was happening is we were initializing it in a static block so right now we removed it so we have to initialize it here in my method theek okay? hai so let me close this as of now so can we do that in the static initialization block itself we can do that in the static block also but how will we pass this variable this name okay this name we have to pass to initialize right what i actually want to do is select id name stage name probability from opportunity i want to give a condition here where name equals to now i want to give the name as whatever is content of this particular variable theek okay? hai so i okay so how do i do that i have to do using a bind variable so this is called a bind variable any variable if you combine inside the uh, query itself you can use the uh, variable directly inside the query theek okay? hai so dynamically okay. whatever is the value of the name that we can display here not display okay. sorry that will be included in the 
query so now this is a bind variable this variable is called a bind variable and how to access a bind variable using a colon just give colon okay. and just give the uh, variable name okay so now it is dynamically taking the uh, variable or uh, dynamic taking the name so whenever you call this method one name has to be passed and this name will be copied to the query and it uh, one condition will be uh, created that it will fetch only the opportunity which has the name equals to this name okay okay so traditionally if we did not use the bind variable then what we would have done we would have done something like this oops sorry we would have done something like uh, here we would have given trigger uh, sequence or any other opportunity name we would have given okay so instead of hard coding it i'm not hard coding because every time we call this method same thing will happen that is hard coding that is like boring stuff we don't do that hard coding okay so if you want to make it dynamic you include a variable and this variable is called as a bind variable b i n d okay so you can give name okay. here so this local variable you can call here okay okay so now every time now this our method is ready now it will not give me a null pointer exception or a debug uh, no, sorry dereference null uh, uh, dereference something dereference a null object okay so now let's try to execute this method so now i'm passing this trigger sequence so let me execute the highlighted once again okay so probability is 10 and it is giving me the trigger sequence name all those things are coming here so this is a better approach to do a programming because here we are not hard coding we are not initializing from the beginning only and we are not taking any opportunity randomly we are taking the input from the user so this and the user will not do anonymous window and all this might come from some input field in maybe some visual force page but this is how it is going to happen okay in that case also okay. we will be using uh, bind variables and this will be coming from maybe some input field this variable will come from some input field that the user might have entered but this is the correct format that this is how we have to do not like hard coding it to trigger sequence or anything and there is one deep uh, one bug here see if this trigger sequence matches with another another opportunity okay if there are two opportunities with this name then in that case this class will fail this method will fail because my opportunity is what type of uh, data type is it this is an opportunity type that means it is capable of holding only one opportunity if this list returns me more than one opportunity then it will fail okay so let's see uh, in opportunity see we have three opportunities with the same name demo opportunity demo opportunity okay so if i take this name and if i while calling i give this demo opportunity okay so now it will uh, Baba, in, sorry in case if you remove that where name Okay. okay where name which one which one no in case if we remove that where uh, condition in sql what this thing once very can something happen uh... <sighs> it on that arrow mark uh, will go down Yes. Oh, this thing is why is this thing coming? What is it? Hover your mouse over that line. I think you will. Uh, okay. Okay. No. Ah, okay. Now it's fine. Now it's fine. So hopefully that did not get deleted. Yes. Okay. So yeah, what what were you asking? Yeah, in that SQL query, if we remove that where condition, mm -hmm. the, a table of contents will get saved in my op, right? No, it will, it will not be saved. saved right? It will not be saved. So one okay. second, this is like a little, little disturbing. I'll show you what is the error. It will show something like a list has more than one records to assign to the variable. Something like that it will show. Okay, I'll show okay. you the error. One okay. 
okay so we have this trigger sequence i'll remove this trigger sequence too so this demo opportunity there are more than one opportunity with the same name okay and name is not unique as you guys already know that name is not unique for any opportunity you can give multiple opportunities with the same name by default unless you have some validation rule or something so let us try to execute this okay so this is a query exception that the list has more than one rows for assignment to s object Okay. So my opportunity is what my op is a s object type it is a opportunity type it will contain only one record it will not contain more than one record if you want to contain more than one record in that case you have to give a list so this you will have to make it as a list i uh, we have not uh, seen list as of now so this you have to make it as okay. a list yeah so this will work fine now it will work fine even if the more than one record comes list will be capable of handle that okay okay but if only one s object cannot handle all of them one s object will only uh, take record of one opportunity it will not take multiple okay, okay. so this is another bug in this code okay so in order to uh, if you want it to be unique you can give id and you can you can initialize using the id and all that is possible okay so in order to avoid that we can also put one more condition here okay we can also put one more condition here then we'll have to do another query one okay that we will see later okay as of now if you want just uh, probably give it a single uh, something which is unique only okay or if you want it to be uh, actually unique then you have to give it an id okay okay or you have to handle the multiple uh, values also so you can say that it uh, you can call it actually a list you can call it as a list okay list we'll see later as of now i'm just uh, showing it so what you can do my opportunity on this so you can put another condition here okay you can say if uh, my opp dot size okay if this is greater than 1 in that condition you can either display a message or you can also uh, uh, display to the user that enter something unique or you can handle that you can handle that using an iteration for loop or something in that you can display a list of all the records like all the records with the same okay. name that you can do so we have not seen for loop so we'll handle that later theek okay. hai okay so any other questions any doubts that you guys have for today's session or is it clear if else if else if block no sir doctor oh. and one more uh, uh, this is not a error or anything but this is a uh, what you call performance issue see stage can be only one right so why do we want all the time to execute everything see if we don't give an else if block here every time it will execute all the blocks it will execute this also it will come here it will check the condition again it will come here and check the condition again here it, it will come to check and check all of the blocks so this is like taking more time so we don't want to do that so for that we have to give an else if here okay so if it's already closed one then it will not check the prospecting because the stage can only be one it can either be closed one it can either be prospecting qualification or closed lost okay if it's already considered that it is closed one then why do you need to go to check prospecting once again so you can skip these method these uh, these executions so how do you do that you can do that using else if block ठीक है, so you can say else if block. So here, that is why else if is used to increase the performance. So you don't need to check everything. So here the stage can be only one. If it's closed one, then it will not be prospecting. If it's prospecting, it will not be qualification or any other else. ठीक है, so here only one of them will be checked. If it becomes closed okay. one, it will not go to the other parts. ठीक है? Yes. hopefully this is clear so try to practice this i'll share it today okay today you guys might receive an email with the link 
to the folder that I will share with you guys and I'll put all the videos there also. ठीक है? Okay. Okay. Okay then. All right. And सवार तुम्हारा yes. Sorry to interrupt. Yeah yeah. तो 